made it out of bend. Found this guy again. <laughs> got my zipper fixed on my tent. Got a trash bag for my bag. Didn't get a water filter though. REI was pretty sold out of everything. Didn't have the kind I wanted. So I'll have to wait till Cascade locks. Ah, look at that guy. That looks cool. Pretty neat. Looks like rhino skin. <laughs> the crocodile skin. <sighs> well, pretty sure this would have been some kind of view. <laughs> I see anything though. I'm definitely at the top <laughs> of something. Little blue sky trying. It's pretty crazy how many mushrooms have all of a sudden like popped up. They're like everywhere. Some look like pancakes. Some look like turtle shells. Some look like women's birth control. <laughs> some of them have been chewed on. Look at these things. And some of them are huge. Look how big these are. This is crazy. Sucker's huge. Yeah. So my raincoat is officially no longer waterproof. And it's a Gore-Tex marmot coat. I didn't know that the Gore-Tex does eventually like wear out and get dirty and not hold because I noticed how raindrops are just soaking into it. And I'm soaked. So I went to REI and uh, they told me about the stuff you can wash it with that basically renews it. I don't know if that's true or not, but I ordered some. And I'm going to try it in Cascade Locks and see if my raincoat becomes rainproof again. Because right now it's not really doing anything. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at these mushrooms. Wow. That one's pretty. It's like from Mario Brothers. That's pretty cool. And look at this guy. Ooh. He's got some personality. He reminds me of like crab meat. Just a little bit. Oh, all over the place. Pretty cool. These look fake. Ooh, that's a big spider. Look at that. You look like someone glued little pieces of popcorn to it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Some was, it looks like human teeth. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> this one's flipped over. It looks like foam. Oh, it's that kind. Wow, that thing's heavy. It's a monster. It does when you, when you film out far. <laughs> it looks scary. <laughs> These one look like like warts. Ew. But cool. Interesting. Oh look, a little one fell off. <laughs> well, the rain has let up for a minute. There's supposed to be a thunderstorm around 4, which isn't too far off. So we'll see if that happens and where we're at. Ooh, that's pretty. It's beautiful.
There's an area up here that our hitch told us that uh, they practiced on for walking on the moon. So that's Devil's Hill and Devil's Lake is somewhere on the other side there. And that's where they practice for walking on the moon apparently. So we were told. <laughs> The non-gravity thing, though, does pose a question. That's crazy. Lava just spilled over into this field. Cool looking. Leopard, yeah, leopard print trees. <laughs> Just looks like straight carnage through here. All their skin fell off. Black bottoms with white tops. Those look beautiful, even though sadly they're burned. Do you think? Today is very cold and wet, and we finally made camp, and I'm having some tea. My dinner's cooking, but it's inside my sleeping bag to keep me warm <laughs> at the moment. Uh, but we escaped the vortex of town. And we did 17 miles. It works. We were both literally so frozen we couldn't get our backpacks unclipped to get them off to set up camp. So, <laughs> yeah, it's cold out and rainy and wet. But now we're all cozy in our tents. How you doing over there? Oh, he may not have made it. I guess he's dead. Are you dead? Yep. He's no longer with us. 